Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those who are wanting to really rock their lives and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. If you screw up, so what? Have you ever compared yourself to someone else or to something that someone else can do and you can't do yet? I know I have. I totally have. I did it this morning. And when I did it, I went, Jan, come on. And I bounced myself straight out of it. For me, I was surfing this morning at sunrise and it was just one of those days where I screwed it all up. I did not catch one wave. I was out in the water for an hour. I just didn't matter what I did. I got up, I fell off. I got up, I fell off. I didn't catch a wave right all day. And I looked around and there was everyone from beginners through to experts just nailing it. And me, I just couldn't get it right today. And it's like, I've tried, I've been trying, not trying, I've been learning to surf now for four years on that beginner to intermediate kind of level. And like everything, the way we, the only way I can learn to surf is to get out there, surf and fall off. Now I have a choice. When I fall off, I can either go, give myself a hard time, chuck a poor me, all those kind of things and just go, well, it's not fair. They can surf and I can't. And it's human nature that we kind of go, what, what, why can't I just do this? Like really seriously, after four years, why can't I just do this? Really simple. I'm comparing myself to other people who've been maybe surfing longer than me, doing more practice than me, come to the sport with a different set of skill set than I do. There's so many variables and me giving myself a hard time for not being able to surf to the level that I want to yet doesn't help me learn. It doesn't. And it's the same as riding a push bike. You could give any kid a textbook on this is the academic way on how to ride the push bike, but at some stage they have to get on the push bike. They're going to fall off sometimes or they're going to have their little training wheels. But the only way we actually learn is to make mistakes. We screw it up, we learn, we tweak, we try again. That's it. We screw it up and we learn, we tweak, we try again. It's not like screw it up and just go, I'm not going to do that again. That sucked. Well, you might have done that in the past to some things, but it doesn't serve you. This is it. So what's really happening when we're comparing ourselves to someone else and taking ourselves out of the game? That what? And we go and take ourselves out of the game. Like, what is it? We're comparing ourselves on what's not working compared to how far we've come and what is working. Imagine that we focused on our strengths instead of on the parts that aren't working. And I know human nature is that we just look for what's not working. That's human nature. But guess what? You're allowed to be above that game and treat it differently. So imagine that you break up your time kind of this way instead. This is a little formula that I read years ago that really works for me. Imagine you spend 75% of your time on your strength, okay? So even part of me for surfing, my strength is that I actually just get out there and do it. That if I committed at the moment, if I'm surfing three days a week, imagine I just went, okay, well, my strength is that I turn up and I go surfing, cool. Well, imagine I go five days a week or six days a week instead of three days a week. Do you reckon I'm going to improve nearly twice as fast. I reckon I will. That's it. Spend 20% of my time learning new things. I've got to learn the different skills, whether it, you know, and at the moment I'm, I'm playing with back with my eight foot board versus my nine foot board. And it's like, I'm a beginner surfer again, it, but that's it. I, I need to learn the skills to ride my shorter board versus my long board. That's it. Turn up, concentrate learning what I need to learn to ride my shorter board and then spend 5% of my time on my weakness. So my weakness for me, this is the truth. So when you surf, same as riding a motorbike or anything, it's kind of like you look up, you stay up. Look up, you stay up. I don't know why I'm doing it, but at the moment when I'm on my surfboard, I look down. So it's like I pop up, you do a pop up is uh, you're doing a, a push up on a moving surface and basically downhill as you're coming down a wave. It is the most insane thing. And you, you're meant to get up that quick. So I'll pop up, but as I'm popping up, instead of me looking ahead where I'm going, my habit, my weakness is that I still look down. 
which means when I look down, I fall off. That's it. And so I'm just, I spent this morning just stacking it. It was just crazy. But instead of me going on and, and celebrating the fact that I turned up on a cold, rainy morning on a board I'm not used to, instead of me going, hey, Jen, you actually bloody rock because you went there, you gave it a crack. Instead of that, I found my brain going, Jen, what are you doing? Just look up. And the more I gave myself a hard time and compared to myself to other people who were just rocking it, my brain started to go down that rabbit hole and that doesn't help. It doesn't serve. It just doesn't because what we think about, we bring about. What we think about, we bring about. Okay. So the more I think, oh, I just keep looking down. What am I going to keep doing? I'm going to keep looking down. Or you might be that, you know, code's been happening and money's tighter than, than you like it to be. But I remember one day when I was in clinic and I'm going back 30 years, guys. I very, when I first started my naturopathic clinic and it was like the start of the week and I had all the bills that I had to pay for the week and I had a full diary, absolutely full diary of, you know, all my patients were coming in. I thought, yeah, good, can pay all the bills. Everything's good. Just as a brand new business, getting it started. And uh, someone canceled or well, they postponed. And I remember going, oh, shit. I needed them to come. I needed that money to pay the bill. And my brain went down this, oh, I hope no one else cancels. Oh, and I, I went straight into this worry thing. And I swear by the end of Monday, my week had canceled. My worrying about everyone canceling, that stress, worry, vibe, all that kind of stuff just blew out my week. And I feel like it was almost the universe saying, you want something to worry about? Well, worry about this. Anyway, I needed to get my brain back on track to be able to think positively of the outcome I wanted. And it's exactly the same with my surfing. So you see, the way it works is that our thoughts create our feelings. Our feelings create our actions. Our actions bring us our results. So with surfing this morning, I noticed my brain was doing the, Jen, what are you doing? You're falling off, stop, you know, don't be a dick, stop looking down. <laughs> I, I noticed myself doing it. So the first thing is acknowledge yourself that you notice that. It's like, okay, cool. Just Jen, why do you, why, what is your why? Why do you like to go surfing on a cold rainy morning? Because I just love being out there at sunrise. I love watching the sun kiss the horizon. It's just pure bliss for me. Bloody hard at work and exercise, but at the same time, I love it. It just does something to every cell in my being. So it was like, Jen, remember just to have fun. I did. And I reframed what was happening for the morning, acknowledged myself for the positives that I had turned up, even though it was a cold, rainy morning and my brain could have gone, Jen, just stay in bed instead. All that stuff. And I just went, Jen, cool. Just have fun. Just have fun. That's it. You're on your eight foot board. You're in a different surf. Just have fun this morning. And I did. And I closed out the session in such a different way. I still remember that feeling as my mind went down that rabbit hole doing the oh, what am I going to do? Like huge stress, stress, stress. How am I going to pay the bills? And thinking to myself, Jen, it's okay. You're great at your work. More people will come, change up your vibe. And I, I sat there and I sat at my appointment desk and I did some actions. I, I, I did clinic work to change my vibe and my mindset. And before the end of that Monday, my week was booked out with patients again. But I had to change my mindset. My thoughts create our feelings. Our feelings create our actions and our actions create our results. If I kept thinking, shit, no one's going to turn up this week. I'm going to have no patience and I won't be able to pay the bills. I promise I would have got more the same. The same this morning. If, I, if I'd stayed in the mindset that started to sneak in, that I was having a sucky morning and I just kept falling off, you know, and I'm looking down instead of looking up and going where I want to go, I would have just created more of the same where I ended out a solid exercise session and I enjoyed it. It was cool. I didn't catch any waves, but it was so cool that I was out in the, in the ocean filling up my cup in the way that I love to do it. That's what I wanted to speak into. If you screw up, if life is not working for you the way it is, take the step back. We have to start with that our thoughts create our feelings, which create our actions, which create our results. It's time to change it up. If you want a different result, change your thoughts. It all starts with mindset. Spend the bulk of your time really celebrating what's rocking 
with your positive results, whatever it is, celebrate all the little wins to get to the big wins. It's what we need to do. And then yes, I still need to do some more learning and improving to, to master what I'm doing, you know, to progress further on my surfboard. But I know showing up and practicing over and over and over is going to keep heading me in the right direction. If I want to do it faster, like some of the people, the other people do, I've got girls I surf with who'll surf, you know, five, six, seven days a week. If I'm doing three to four days a week, well, they're always going to progress faster than me. I'm in control of that. So instead of me comparing myself going, oh, I suck and they don't, I can just go, oh, I can acknowledge. I am so proud of them. They're out there, you know, they're improving faster because they're doing more surfing. They're doing the practice more. The thing to do is to stop focusing on what you're not good at yet. Put the word yet in there. It's such a powerful word. And don't go comparing yourself to someone who's been doing whatever it is longer or can't bring a different set of skill sets to whatever it is. Acknowledge yourself for where you are at right now and acknowledge yourself that you're on the journey and then please acknowledge yourself for actually showing up. That's the cool part. You'll never improve. You'll never learn how to ride the bike or the surfboard or run a business or do whatever it is or be in a relationship. If you don't give it a crack, give it a crack. And when you go off track, you screw it up. So what? Come back on track. What you think about, you bring about. What you think about, you bring about. Correct your mind first. Okay, your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings create your actions, your actions create your results. It's only a quickie today, but an important one. The healthy life hacks to concentrate on with this one are, da, 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 number one, when you screw up, so what? Just reframe it, just go, wow, at least I noticed I was off track, I'm coming back on track, no story, no problem. That's it, that's number one. Number two, don't let you take you out of the game. Don't let you take you out of the game. Don't let your mind go, oh, pfft, can't do it. It's can't do it yet, yet, okay? Off track, back on track, off track, back on track. Keep yourself in the game. Number three, go back to step one and focus on your strengths. That was what I talked about first. Focus on everything that is working, not the 5% that's not working. Okay, yes, you need to do that 20% of learning, but focus on the 75% that you're actually doing. In my case today, surfing was that I turned up on a cold, rainy day. It's all good. Focus on that stuff and then you can build on the rest. Don't focus on the thing that's not working. Cool? And then healthy life hack number four is to stay in action. To achieve your goals and dreams, you just, it's like that never give up, never surrender. You've got to get, you've got to be in the game. Sitting on the sidelines doing the, oh, I wish I could. Oh, oh. It would have been so easy for me to stay home this morning as I was you know, putting the surfboard in the car. It was just on you know, pre-light kind of times and it was a drizzle of rain and it was cold. And I, I honestly had the conversation with myself, Jen, just go back to bed. And then I went, Jen, nah, get your ass to the surf. Stay in action. The only way you'll achieve your goals is to just give them a crack. That's it. Never give up and never surrender. If you would like a copy of the show notes, remember to head to www.healthylifehacks.com.au. You'll be able to get that there. And in the next episode, I'm going to talk about does skinny mean healthy? Ooh, this is a big one because I know a lot of you think, oh, I just want to be a trim whatever size. Trim and skinny doesn't always mean healthy, guys. And that's what I'm talking about in the next episode. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review where you're listening in from. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review to have a free one-hour consultation with me. If you would like to receive a free copy of my Feed Your Body ebook, simply click the link in the comments below and join my newsletter and we will get that free ebook sent to you. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.